Chapter 13. They had been thinking of something to catch the Triceratops. To the dinosaur who dino. Triceratops, that's what it is. <laughs> Thanks, Jethro. You probably corrected me on that. All right, so on to chapter 13. And so, batter down customer appreciation day. Get Gustavo's latest creation free when you present any receipt from a previous purchase. Be the first to taste the PBN, PBN, PB before it becomes available to the buying public. <sighs> I may have more money now than I could ever spend, but I'm not going to pass up something that's free. Eventually, thank you, come again. Enjoy your peanut butter pickle bacon pastry bun. I would never have thought so many people held on to their receipts. This one's seven years old. That coupon is costing us a fortune. At this rate, our bakery will be out of business before tomorrow. I think you mean we'll put Gustavo's based bakery out of business. Oh, yeah, right. Ding, ding. Shh. This just might be Udino. Is that him? I can't tell with that hood up. I'd like my free PB and PB and PB, please. Wow, so polite. One cake, special order, happy birthday scientists, total pay cash. Especially for a crook. <sighs> Slam. Try Sarah Trapped. You won't be stealing money with this anymore. How'd you even know about this thing, Houdino? I didn't, but when I saw on the news that all the scientists at the science factory were outside, I knew that place would be easy pickings. There's always some contraption that can be used for evil at the science factory. Oops. And handily enough, this one came with an instruction manual. It's dishwasher safe. And the roost with the cake? Everyone likes cake easy way in. Though I do like to make an explosive exit. Well, your exiting days are over. You lizards think this cage will hold the great who dino. Nothing stops this triceratops. Beep. Wham. That's a wrap. How are we going to get him out of the store? Probably the same way the big oven got taken out. Medium oven. Wait! We never found out who cap, uh, kidnapped Chef Mustachio. Or why? That's the reason we were here in the first place. Gustavo! Gators, so please uh, tell me I can stop baking your crazy uh, pastries. I did enough for that in the sewer. What happened to you? Start from the beginning. Well, I was a born a poor a farmer boy. Start from your abduction. I was a waxing on my mustache while I walk into a worker when a someone a grabbed my leg and pulled me down. 
He was the most unsavory a character, though. Maybe he uh be all right uh, with the sharper cheese and some pro prosecuta. He was uh, crumbling, uh, half uh, eaten. You're not making any sense, man. He uh, forced me to uh, develop a new uh, type of dough, a soup. For dough, a high bread of a cracker cake, a cookie, a bread, a high bread. A hybrid is a mix between the two. He made me a rebake him in the medium oven. Told you. He must have stolen it when no one was a looking. Gustavo, was he a... Cracker? Yes, uh, he called himself a crocodile. No, not possible. Brash? What does that mean, brash? Gustavo, what happened next? How did you escape? Well, I was a bake and I broke free of my shackles with the spoon. And, and then I had to do uh, the most horrible thing. Crawl out of the sewer? No, I broke the force to rule a bacon. I left while the oven was on. You had to do what you had to do, Gustavo. <laughs> it was a low for a death situation. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Brash, you okay? I think I know who this cracker dial is. Mango, it's time I told you what happened to my old partner at the bakery. His name was Daryl. He was Suit's top agent. I learned so much from him in our time together. Our assignment was supposed to be as easy as pie. Daryl was going to retire. It was his last mission. But no one expected it to be his last, last mission. We were cracking down on a cracker company that was disposing of nuclear waste by baking it into their saltines. We cracked the case, but there was also an incident with the cat. Daryl fell into the radioactive dough were blub, 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 and was never seen again. Or so I thought, but he must have been alive this whole time. I could have saved them. It's all my, I could have saved him. It's all my fault. And now he's an evil saltine out for revenge. Yeah, I'd be salty about being left to die, too. Sorry, Brash. I can only imagine how difficult this might be. Thanks, Mango. But you're a great detective, and Mustachio is safe now. We can deal with the crocodile later. Something tells me his time will be up soon. And that's the end of this chapter. It's also the end of our story. Come back for the epilogue. You might learn a little bit more. The story after the story. I have a whole lot of questions at the end of this. What might be some of your questions?